What's up everyone, Ben Wigman here, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in Southern Illinois. I'm joined alongside today Jacob Schultz, the PFR location lead, and we're sitting here brainstorming ideas on how we can drive profitability for this 2025 growing season. And what we particularly want to talk about here today is going back to that soybean crop and some of those things that we found to be beneficial to help drive yield and ROI profitability on that first crop soybean acre okay and the thing that we're really talking about here today is boron rate and timing so we think about boron boron is something that is largely used for reproduction okay and we've looked at it in corn soybeans and now even wheat okay but jacob get us up to speed on what we've done um, in terms of boron and a soybean crop yeah so we picked uh, two timings the r1 and r3 timing both great times to be out there with the sprayer. That R1 is our, usually around our herbicide pass, and that R3 is our fungicide pass. Um, we went with a one pint rate of a 10% boron product. We want to shoot for those higher um, percentage products. That way we're getting enough out there for that plant to actually move the needle. Um, and we saw some really good things out of all those timings, but our best was that combined R1 and R3 timing um, across all the sites, we were averaging $20 an acre across three years. At our site specifically, over two years, we were seeing around that $30 mark. So really, really good results. Um, coming up in the future, based on seeing how that extra has pushed us um, to the next yield level, we are looking at going to higher rates at those different timings. So we're looking at a full court at R1, a full quart at R3 and then a combined uh, two or a quart at each for a two quart rate between the two timings. So trying to see where that level is we need to be at with boron, if we can still move the needle at those higher rates or maybe we have found that cap. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking to do this year. Yeah, and what's interesting about that, you know, the typical studies that we've been doing, the R1 and R3 where we only had a pint and combining Basically what that data showed is that the more we applied, the better off we were. So, you know, as it sits for this growing season here this year, you know, really what it kind of shows is that we need to have at least a quart of a 10% boron applied to our crop. And what we recommend to you guys for this year before we do the new study is when you're making your post herbicide application, apply one quart of a 10% boron. And then if you decide to come back at R3 with a fungicide or just straight foliar feed, put another quart in there, okay, to get us to a total of a half gallon out there. But the thing about applying at least one quart of that herbicide pass is if you decide to not make that R3 pass, at least you already have a quart out there and that's the bare minimum we want you to have. Okay, make sure you have at least one quart of a 10% boron out there. We're already making that pass, add it in, it's a free trip, something that can be very, very profitable. The other thing is, you know, we see large responses from it here because our lower organic matter soils as compared to other PFR sites. So the tougher the soil you get, the bigger the response essentially is what we're seeing. So, you know, definitely some food for thought, seeing tremendous results, extreme profitability out of this. So if you guys have any comments, suggestions, questions on any of this stuff here, feel free to reach out to any of us or your local BEX representative, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. With that, thanks and have a great day.